So do you know what my favourite command line tool is? Red loves tools, yeah. No, what's your favourite command line tool? weird. So we're using the say command, which is probably the best, the best of the commands. I do actually love like command line tools. Like recently, um, someone pointed out like the delight of dot files. Mm -hmm. Do you know GitHub has their whole dot files dot GitHub dot io, and it's literally just a ton of people and just their dot file configs. And it's basically like dot files are the things that just set up your profile, right? So if you've like on Linux, you have Bash and OS X, right? Yeah, yeah. They both use Bash, and it's basically like you can put loads of things that preset Bash to do all sorts of crazy stuff right. just so for like, you. If, if you're someone that finds themselves using the command line quite a lot, and you find that like there's a common set of tools or workflows that you use every day, it's a good idea to like alias them. So I like use aliases a lot in my workflow. Yeah, because I ended up going through your dot files, and there's some good things in there. I got massively confused. Probably some terrible things in there as well. They're also not your original dot files. You stole no, them from no, someone I else. Stole, I stole them from uh, Matthias Binans, Yep. who has like probably one of the best sets of dot files ever. He does. There's tons of good stuff in there. I just got super confused and I forgot everything. And now I'm probably up to the point where you are as well. But like, I love them. Like One of the common things that I like doing is that I have aliases where it's literally like just C, S, P. And it literally just goes to like code or sites or projects. It's like just preset directories and I just type one letter and it's just there. That's kind of funny because like I find that I, I use some of the same letters for stuff but I, it means something different for me. So I've got S set up to do get status. So if uh, I want to find out the status okay. of like, my current branch, yep. I can just type in S. Um, I also found myself, so something I do every day is I end up like cloning repos and opening up in my editor. Yep. So I use a clone command lets me just go and fetch a repo, just type in like clone repo name. Oh uh, nice. It'll clone the repo, check it out, CD into it and then open it up in my editor. So will it clone it just into the loader you're in, or will it even go to the point where it's just like, yeah, straight into projects? It'll create a new directory for you. And you can like tell it what like parent directory you want it to write to. Nice. It's kind of useful. And that's the one thing that I must admit, I'm finding more and more that the git commands, I'm probably going to go through a load of peoples and steal some things, because I'm still doing a lot of that manually. It's getting yeah. more and more cumbersome. But like, it's insane. Like, I've just gotten to the point where I feel like everyone should just spend a bit of time playing with their terminal, just setting it up. Yeah. Because the other thing I did was set up um, ZSH. And the main reason I did that was because of the themes that everyone has, and then you've got plugins. Like, the only one that I'm aware that I'm using is GitHub plugin. Yeah. So if I'm in a terminal, it's GitHub repo, it'll go, here's the branch that they're on, and then it'll put like a little uh, like star, whether there's changed files or not yeah. that you're committing. So Z ZSH is like, it's really useful for visualizing some additional information, like the context that you're in at the moment. It's kind of yeah. cool. Um, I love, so I love using, speaking of the command line, I, I love using iTurn2. Um, yep. And it's got some really nice features. So in addition to like having a, a really rich ecosystem of themes, so again, I'm using SETI UI as my default theme in the command line now. Um, it's also got support for a history feature. Okay. So like it'll record all of the different console, um, you know, information commands, commands that you've been running, using yeah. the last couple of days. And you can like scrub back and forth through history. Nice. So you can see, okay, well, I, I use these four or five commands every day. Maybe I should alias them. That's pretty cool. I never really, like, I think I've just gotten to the point where I'm just making it up as I go along, like what I alias and whatnot. That's quite a nice way of doing it. Your face is weird. <laughs> you suck. Not as much as your face. 